All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find a dwarf planet in one of your images. I'll share my screen. Okay. So we're in Afterglow, and I've already loaded up an image, and somewhere in this image is the dwarf planet Pluto. Now, of all the dwarf planets you're going to observe, Pluto is going to be the toughest to identify amongst the stars around it. And that's because right now and for years to come, Pluto is in the plane of our galaxy where you have the highest concentration of stars. So we've imaged a very crowded field, lots of stars, lots of points of light, and only one of them is Pluto. And the question is, which one? Now, something that can help us a little bit is if Skynet pointed its telescope fairly accurately, which it normally does, then Pluto should be near the center of this image. So not any of these points out here, but one of these points of light near the, the middle of the image. But there's still a lot going on there. It's not clear which one is Pluto. So to do this, we're going to need to load the Digitized Sky Survey, or DSS. And you can find that over here on the left. It's the tab with the gear icon. And we'll click this button here in a second. But first, let me explain what the DSS is. It's a survey, or a map, of the entire sky that astronomers made a long time ago, decades ago. In fact, so long ago, we did not have digital cameras yet. It was done on photographic plates, which had to be developed, kind of like film. Since then, they've been scanned or digitized, and hence the name Digitized Sky Survey, and they're available for download over the internet. And Afterglow provides us with an interface for doing that. So we're going to load this exact part of the sky from this archival map, and then we'll have two pictures of the same part of the sky. We'll have your picture, in which you'll have Pluto, or whichever dwarf planet you're trying to find, and then you'll have this archival picture taken decades before. And since the dwarf plants move around the sky with time, it will not be in the archival image. So the game will be trying to find that point of light somewhere near the center of your image that is not in the archival image. And that will be the dwarf planet. Okay, let's load this in. May take a second. And once it comes in, it will split the screen. There we go. Let's uh, center these up. This is the Digitized Sky Survey. And this is our image. And just looking at them real quickly, they're indeed the same part of the sky. You can match up certain features like these two bright stars correspond to these two bright stars. These two correspond to those two. So it's the same part of the sky. Now, to help us find, in this case, Pluto, what we're going to do is sync the two images. So we have a couple syncing options here. We want the one on top. And you can see it rotated the DSS just a little bit to make it perfectly match our image. Now, if we move one around, the other moves with it. If we zoom into a certain part or zoom out, any particular part, it will do so in the other image as well. The two are synchronized. Okay. Zoom out, and let's find the exact center, or at least pretty close to the exact center of the DSS image. That's where the dwarf planet should be, of course, not in the archival image, but in our image. So if we zoom into this part with sync on, we'll be zooming into the dwarf planet in the other image. So it's gonna be somewhere around here, but in this image. So one of these points of light right here. Now to help us figure out which one, we're gonna start marking stars, stars that are in common between both images. So come back over here to the right. I'm gonna use the marker tool. I'm gonna to turn the centroid clicks on. And I'm just gonna start clicking on stars that I see in both images. This one and this one correspond to this one and this one. This corresponds to this. And here near the center, 
I see this one, I see this one, corresponds to this one, this one. So by now it should be pretty clear which one is Pluto. It's gonna be this one right here. You see a bright star near the center of our image and it's not in the other image. Let's mark that as well. We're gonna label this one. I think I'm gonna move that label around a little bit. Okay, that's good. And then all I have to do is save each of these using the, the camera icon in both of these windows. Okay, that's it.